some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a sovereign citizen who is pulled over for a traffic stop. He is given plenty of chances to show his ID and car registration, but refuses to do so in typical sovereign citizen fashion. Due to his lack of understanding of traffic laws, he ends up being pulled out of his car and arrested. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yes, sir. You do. For what? I'd be speeding and uh, operating your vehicle in the oncoming traffic lane. Absolutely not. Yes, sir. Am I being entertained? You are, sir. Speeding while in the oncoming traffic lane. Wow. Talk about a disaster waiting to happen. You're either drunk or you have a wish to self terminate. I'm more willing to say the former, though. So can you read me my rights? I don't have to read your rights just yet. I read me my rights, man. Not. Listen, is this not, a custodial stop? It's a traffic stop. It's yes. a custodial stop? Hey, can you send me a couple of, uh, more units here, please? Now, this officer is definitely a seasoned professional because he's calling back for backup. He's probably seen this kind of thing many times before. Driver's license, registration, insurance. Is it a custodial stop? It's a traffic stop, sir. It's a detention for a traffic violation. You need to show me your driver's license, registration, insurance. Have I committed a crime? You've committed a traffic offense, yes. Articulate a suspicion. I am not. Articulate your suspicion. You. Articulate your suspicion. He already gave you the reason for the traffic stop. You were driving the wrong way down the road and speeding. But I bet in your mind that's not a traffic infraction whatsoever. You're probably an anarchist like Chile de Castro. And as long as there's no victim, there's no crime, huh? That's the way it's got to be. Articulate your suspicion. I already told you, have you speeding a traffic speeding stop is you? not a crime, man. Listen, we're not gonna It's not a crime, man. Your ideology, it's not a crime. But you're required by Pennsylvania statute to provide those information. I am not. Information to you. You, are. you got my plates, run my plates. You got my plates, run my plates. Registration proof of insurance. Run my plates, man. I, I, I'm not gonna go in run my I'm plates. It doesn't have to go to a custodial arrest, but if you don't provide that information, it could go that way. Look at this face. This is the face only a mother could love, and that's dubious at best. Plus, it's the face of somebody who thinks that they're a great law scholar, too. Look, dude, just because you read some sovereign citizen pamphlets doesn't make you a law scholar. It just makes you a complete moron for thinking that they were true and accurate. You understand? Yeah. So I don't want it to have to go that way. I don't want to have to go you're that gonna, way either. You're going to choose it to go that way if you don't provide the, the, the proper information. That's you. absolutely not you're true. You're required by Pennsylvania Statute 1511 to, to provide driver's license on demand, 1311 to provide a registration on demand, and you're also provide, uh, required to provide a proof of insurance for the vehicle, which you have not done yet. If you would take a few minutes to read up on the laws that you say don't exist instead of believing what some softard told you, you would probably be a lot better off. But then again, since you fell for what a softard told you, you probably don't have an ounce of gray matter floating around between your ears. So how can you do that without giving it to me? You're not... You're in violation of all of those ish, all of those statutes. Absolutely not. Look, I, again, I'm, I am not commercial, man. I, I'm look, not a commercial I driver. I appreciate your ideology. I hey, listen. That isn't the way it works here. Listen, it's it okay. I know you're gonna try to do what you gotta do. Uh oh, the moron just locked his car doors. He's not about to give up on this stupid little position he's got. Listen, I don't want to have to do that. But you're going to put me in that situation where I'm going to have to. So, license, registration, and insurance, please.
have no way, no, no way of verifying you without those documents. That's not true. It is true. It is not. It is true. You're asking me to give up a right. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm asking you to provide appropriate documents if you're required to provide them. You got a sergeant? I don't need a sergeant. Why not? Because I don't. What crime have I committed? I already told you that. It's not a crime what I did, man. It doesn't matter. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. It's not a crime, man. Step out of the car. No. Step out of the car. No. I'm ordering you. No. Speeding is a traffic infraction that does carry a fine with it, which most certainly makes it a crime. Though a very, very minor one. But this guy's going to turn into something way more than it should be. It doesn't have to go that way. All you have to do is provide the, the information that you're required to provide. I appreciate your ideology, but that's not what it works with. I have not committed a crime. I don't, I'm not saying you committed a crime. You, you just said I committed a crime. You just said I committed a crime. So you got to read me my rights. Read me my rights. Read me my rights. Read me my rights. Your Miranda rights are not read until you are arrested. At this point, you're not under arrest, but you certainly are about to be because of your lack of cooperation in what should have been a simple traffic stop. I'm not going to read your rights because you're not in custody. <laughs> you, step out of the you got to read me my rights. Is this a custodial stop? Is this a custodial stop? So you have to read me my rights. I'm not going to read your rights, but I will when I arrest you. You can't. I will when I arrest you. No, you can't. Open the door. No. Open the door. No. Listen. The next thing I'm going to advise you of is that you're under arrest. If you don't provide the information that I'm requiring from you, that's what's going to happen. Okay? And then yeah. I'll be glad to review your rights. That's fine. So open the door, or I'm going to come in the car with you. You understand? You understand that? No. You are under I arrest. I don't consent. You are under arrest. For what? obstruction of justice. I'm sorry. That's the way you can't arrest me for arrest. that, man. This officer has been more than patient with you, but you've been belligerent this whole time, and you've pretty much given him no choice but to arrest you. Listen, you're under arrest at this point. I'm not under arrest. You are under arrest. For what? I already told you. Obstruction now. You're, you're not providing me with any... It's not... I don't have to do that. You do. I do not. Okay, I'm sorry, but... If I committed a crime, yeah. I already told you that. I have that. not committed a crime. A traffic crime. violation is not a crime. I'm going to come out of the car. Listen, I don't want to have to break the window, but that's what's going to have to happen if you don't comply. You're required to exit the vehicle. No. You're being ordered to. You got to break it. I'm going to have to. You're gonna have to break it. Okay. Last chance. Last Are you gonna break chance. it? Last chance. You gonna break my vehicle? You gonna break my vehicle? They gave you plenty of chance to cooperate, but you turned a simple traffic stop into this, so they really have no choice. Wow, man. He's drunk. Yep. Walk a lot, Travis. Dumbass! 
You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Get out of the court. Get out of the court. Step out of the court. So now it is obstruction of justice and suspicion of DUI. Pretty nice having all of them. Timothy's what? I got it. 97 girl with the all on. It's Pennsylvania 33305959. Hello. He's got his own little camera. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have a dead battery. 339 Clavel. And after all that, he had a driver's license on him, which basically means he signed the paperwork saying that he understood the law where he had to present everything upon request. What a moron.